Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. All Things Middle Earth here with yet another new character reveal for Season 3. It seems like we are getting a ton of these, but today we're going to look at Celeborn. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting another Elven Commander, Celeborn. Again, I would be shocked if Celeborn is not a Tier 3 Commander. He is married to Galadriel. Uh, he's the Lord of Lothlorien. It, it would be kind of a crime to not have him as a Tier 3 uh, like other very, very powerful Elven Commanders. So I think uh, Celeborn's going to be a Tier 3 Commander would be my, my best guess. And there's no real surprise here that we did get him because he is one of those like other bigger named characters that we don't have in the game just yet uh, i feel like there are a lot more named characters on the good side than the evil side so for the evil side we kind of are getting more like nazgul that really don't have names but we're making up names for him but for the for the good commanders there's a lot of commanders like Celeborn uh, and like kirden who are getting that uh aren't really a surprise to me but let's go ahead and take a quick look at what the uh what information we have so far on Celeborn. as you can see there we got a pretty cool intro animation with the the March Wardens, he's uh, he's not going to lift a finger. He's going to he's gonna have him do the work for him. Uh, the first skill we have is going to be the Wise, and it says, As the commander's stats increase, allied units gain the following effects in sequence. And these are usually very, very interesting skills, so I'm very interested to see how this plays out in-game. Uh, but it's when focus reaches uh, 150, the damage received is negative 10%. Uh, when focus reaches 250, you gain madness immunity. And when focus reaches 350, you gain initiative. So that is at level 10 out of 15. I can't there's I can't see the um, the next level. It's blocked um, uh, in the picture they show us. It doesn't show what the damage received scales to. So we'll have to find out and see. But at level 10, uh, it could be 1% each. So it could be maxed out at 15% damage reduction. Uh, but the max level effect is going to be uh, speed 20. So we're going to get speed 20 for him. And a uh, very interesting skill tree there. And then after the Ys, we're going to get Guide, which we are we have on other Elven Commanders that we're familiar with. So it's going to be in the first two rounds, all allied units are going to deal 30% extra physical damage. Uh, and that's, again, at level 10 out of 15. And then while damage is increased, they're going to have Stun Immunity. So with the, the Ys, if we bring it back here, you get Madness Immunity at uh, 250 Focus. So we're going to have Madness Immunity. And then with, the, with Guide, we're going to have Stun Immunity in the first two rounds. Uh, so a very, very good sounding kind of anti-stun, anti-madness commander thus far. Um, and then we are going to also have a uh, gray elf, obviously with guide. We, we know what the adjacent skills are there, but I'll put them on the screen real quick for you. But we have guide on some other commanders, so I would assume those would be the same. And then for gray elf, we also have that. I believe Legolas has that. Uh, so gray elf, at least for Legolas, is going to max out at 15% uh, chance to evade damage. And then his skills are dead eye and shield training. So shield training is ranged units are going to receive 14% less damage and dead eye is that ranged units are going to deal an extra 21% damage. So assuming the values are the same, which I don't know why they wouldn't be, but at the same time, if this ends up being a much more powerful character, we'll see. I did just check uh, how there has guide as an ability and, it, and these values are the exact same as this. So there's no reason to think the values would change for any of these. Uh, the only one I don't believe we know anything about is the Lord of Lorien. So it'll be interesting to see what that is. I feel like information usually comes out either from other creators or I don't know how people get this information sometimes, but uh, we'll find out probably pretty soon what this R5 is going to look like. Uh, again, some kind of beasts, maybe ants. I mean, it's got a picture for an ant, but sometimes that could just be beasts. They use they use pictures of ants or, um, or eagles just to convey very a broader thing. But it could be something to do with, with ants, which would be interesting if, if it was a commander that was going to be like an ant and elf build. I don't know. Uh, but again... Very excited to be see, to see him uh, coming into season three. Uh, it's the only downside about all these awesome commanders we're getting is I think a lot of them are going to be tier three. Um, I don't think we got any any new tier one commanders when the start of season two happened. So so far, unless they are going to add uh, just some kind of more generic characters, which I feel like are not as exciting, uh, I I think these are going to be at least tier two or tier three commanders, which does mean they're going to be harder to get, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's ideally a game we'll be playing for a long time. So if Celeborn ends up being a really good character, then hopefully we can start working towards unlocking him. But that's going to do it for our video today on Celeborn. Hope you enjoyed it. And let me know down in the comments below which commanders you still want to see in Season 3. But I'll see you all in a future video. Uh -oh.